So good morning, showing you some more blossom on the streets of Bristol. Uh, this is a little video about wicker, wicker work in Bristol. It seems quite popular in this area. Could be because we're on the border of Somerset. Uh, Somerset, lots of willows used to grow along the canals and rivers which were used in the past for sort of basket weaving and other willow work. So that could be why. Um, willow, willow work has uh, got, you know, associated with uh, paganism largely from a film called The Wicker Man in 1973. Uh, this is just a, a, you know, a picture I found. Um, this is based on the, the film poster. And it's got that association in people's minds now. So just um, I'm going to show you the poster now, which uh, is from Wikipedia. Uh, here it is. And uh, yeah, this is this is what people think of at the moment, you know, when they when they think of wicker work is this film um but yeah it's been used in a lot of sculpture uh one of the most famous was uh this lady she did a, a big sculpture down in somerset by the side of the m5 and that was in 2001 and oh that was uh yeah i think that was when it was burnt down so it was it was there a couple of years before that and then they uh you know they, they appealed for funds to rebuild it look how much it costs goodness sake but yeah because of its association with paganism if you put up a big willow sculpture beside in a field beside the motorway you pretty much got to expect to have it burnt down actually so in bristol down the road from where i live here's a house that had a, a nose on the side of it um it was put up in 1998 about then and it was it was either concrete or plaster of paris these are some uh, news reports about it being rebuilt. Um, the house owner decided to rebuild it in Willow, um, and it was an artist called Oliver Hales who, who uh, built this sculpture here. This was when it was uh, being done in 2007. So I thought it'd be nice to go out and just have a look at it now, and unfortunately, yeah, it's looking pretty dilapidated again in 2008. 22. Here it is. So what's this? Well, this is another wicker sculpture. This is down by the portway, about five miles out of Bristol. Looking at it from the road, and I, uh, in my dilapidated state myself, managed to climb over the fence. Um, I've had to take the sound off these videos because of the very noisy road right beside. So the whales... There are two whales, uh, and they were originally in Bristol on the harbour side, which I'll show you a bit more about. This is the state they're in now. As you can see the stone there, whether that stone was already in the field or whether they used it to weigh, weigh the sculpture down. They've very much been put out to grass, these poor whales, and this is what they look like now. Now, I'm five foot one, and... I'm panning the camera around to give you, and it really gives you an idea of how big they are. They are pretty big. Um, I'm un going under the tail here. That bit over there is the head of the other whale. So the idea was that one was poking its head out of water and one was diving back in. I'll just swing it round to show you. Here you can really see that's quite a way above me that tail as i say i'm five foot one so that's what they look like this is when they were being built and this was in 2015 as part of bristol's bid to be city of culture so there's a couple of news news reports here and those are some companies on the left that were that put up funds for, for these sculptures and that was when they were installed in Bristol Harbour side with artificial water around them <laughs> made from salvaged plastic bottles, which considering they were in, in a water feature already, I always found a bit weird, but, but there we are, that explains a bit about them. So here they are in their new home out beside Bristol Portway, which is really hard to get to actually, you, you have to walk. That's what they look like in the field from Avon Wildlife Trust. Uh, that's their, their board explaining about them. 
you you have to walk through the woods and fields to get to this so that's a close-up of the notice board that tells you all about them from when they were built and like I said it's it's quite sad really both the Bristol the nose on the side of the house and these whales how it deteriorates but on the other hand you know it, it's a ecologically sound isn't it they're, they're gradually receding back into the earth which is quite nice really this is the exact location of the whales and you could possibly put that into a GPS and try and find the nearest place to park a car um, but probably the best way actually is to catch the seven beach train down to sea mills and walk back along to them which is what I did so I hope you've enjoyed this and um, I'll see you in the next video